Today we're going to try to Today we're going to try to save our buttons on our devices. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to try to save the buttons on our devices. This device here is from my work and I'm using it and the, the letters and numbers are wearing off on this thing from touching them. So I'm trying to be very careful, but even though I'm being careful, they're still wearing off and I want to find a solution on stopping it. I don't know if you guys have had the same issues, but as you can see, some of the numbers are missing and the features are actually missing. So I want to try to save, save those. What we're going to do is we're going to take some clear fingernail polish and I want to put it over all the buttons. Now I do notice on this particular unit that the entire face here is all one solid piece of rubber. Same with up here. So there's, there's no way anything's going to get down into any electronics. And I'm not going to put it on so heavy that you know, it's crazy. I'm just going to lightly coat it and maybe put a, another coat on it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. This is just something I'm going to try. And I'll come back at it sometime in the future and let you know if it worked. Since we won't know it worked for quite some time and I'd like to post a video. So I'm just going to take a little bit of fingernail polish and I'm going to put it over anything that has writing on it. Actually, it's working really well, actually. And <coughs> if you ever use fingernail polish for any reason, you will know that it stinks bad. Okay, so I've, I've done the top ones, the top view here, and the power button. And now we're just going to go ahead and put it on anything that has a letter on it, any writing. It's actually covering it really nice. I'm just putting a thin coat. Now, I'd kind of wiped the numbers off. I, I kind of wiped off the display a little bit before I started. So you might want to, if, if your panel is uh, dirty, I would just simply wipe it down real quick. I think this might work. I don't know how long it's going to last for. I can see it's going on there. And I'll just keep going. So like the one that's where it worn off. Mine isn't too bad. I've seen others that are really bad. Again, I'm kind of wiping right down straight like that because these are, it is one big piece of rubber. Now how well this is actually gonna stay you know, on here, I don't know. I'm really curious. I've been looking for a solution for this for quite some time, and I've been really trying to be careful on my buttons. There's some, there's some uh, images in a, a blue color here on top of the numbers. You can probably barely see them. Those are wearing off too. He's almost gone. You know, maybe I could have used some white out or something on there to that letter's that letter's gone. And the P's almost gone. We're saving the A. The A was almost gone.
I use this every day, so maybe in a week or so I will know if this is actually working or if it's just peeling off. If it peels off, that'll be a disaster. But uh, I will come back with an updated video and let you know how this worked out. Again, since I do use this every day. Guys, if you don't own any clear fingernail polish, I recommend you go out and buy yourself some because this works for all kinds of things. Guys, if you have a rip, I did this years ago as a, as a youngster. Um, I, I couldn't afford new speakers. And if any of my speakers ripped, I just put clear fingernail polish on it. And my speakers worked again. They didn't rattle, you know, how if you had a rip speaker, it would buzz or something. Well, the fingernail polish stopped the buzz. So it works for all kinds of things, guys. So if you need, yeah, to have some clear fingernail polish on hand, highly recommended. So this is actually my fingernail polish. Doesn't belong to anybody but me. I can do whatever I want with it. So if you don't own any, guys, and you don't plan on buying any, be sure to ask the wife if you can use her fingernail polish before you go and use it on your stuff. Okay, it's they're, they're all coated now, I think. A little coated. They're actually kind of shiny now. Get these ones down here. I don't use these bottom buttons very much. So those probably would last quite a few years, I don't hardly ever touch those. Yeah, I like it. I'm kind of giving some of these another coat. I was being really careful at first because I wasn't sure how this would take to the rubber, but it looks like it's going on really well and I'm feeling a little more comfortable with it. Again, these buttons here I don't touch very often. So I think those are last. It's the numbers that is the problem. Numbers and the letters. Some of the numbers or letters are gone here. I can see some of them are still there, but they're close to being gone. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. Hey guys, if you have another solution to saving your numbers and letters on your devices, whatever that might be, you know, a remote control, um, a label maker like this, a test set, whatever you have a, uh, on some printed numbers on it and they're wearing off. If you have a solution to this problem, go ahead and comment down below. I would love to read it because I've been trying to search for this fix for a while and I'm not finding anything on it. So I decided finally today to go ahead and use some clear fingernail polish on my label maker. I hope this thing isn't going to be sticky. <laughs> yeah, I hope I didn't just ruin this thing. And look at that. It's shiny. Wow. Look at that, guy. It's an added bonus. Huh? Huh? 
we did, we attempted to save the lettering on our label maker or whatever other device you have, maybe maybe a remote control that you have the uh, buttons, you know, they're going away on your remote control or whatever the device is, in this case, a label maker. Two advantages is, and look at that, she makes it all nice and shiny. I'm digging it. I just hope it works. I will come back and let you know. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with my green lawn. Hey, if you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons down below for, for some more very interesting and weird tips. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have a great day, and I'm going to enjoy my labels. See you in the next one. I'm not going to touch the buttons yet until they dry. So, tomorrow at work. Let's see what happens.